Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. All right, today's going to be about Fonnie Willis. So she's the prosecutor in the Georgia case uh, against Trump, where he tried to go and uh, or he tried to convince people to be fake electors and steal the election and disenfranchise uh, legitimate voters. So, but now they feel like she has hired uh, one of her uh, uh, lawyers to help prosecute him uh, while she's having an affair with him and that she's throwing money his way and that they're living a high uh, lifestyle on the $650,000, I guess, a year that she's paying this guy to prosecute Trump. So uh, we're going to talk about Fonnie Willis, how it's going to affect the trial with Trump, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So if you weren't sure what was going to happen, yeah, we're going to talk about Fonnie Willis. Um, it's interesting because um, you would think knowing what an evil guy uh, Trump is and uh, that she would have not taken this risk. But it just goes to show you there are good people and there are bad people and there are good and bad people. And uh, while Fonnie Willis's um, goal in this prosecution of Trump is to you know, keep uh, Georgia voters from being disenfranchised and punish someone for trying to do that and all the people involved with him who are trying to do that. Um, then she also uh, has this affair, uh, which who cares? You know, we can have uh, relationships with whomever we want, uh, adults and all that, but is she throwing money that guy's way and should she have disclosed all of this in the beginning to keep it from being uh, so controversial, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to see if it's going to affect the Trump trial, which is going to get kicked out. We'll just ask a bunch of questions but before we do any of that. Let's have just a moment of meditation. interesting uh, situation that comes up. Watching Fonnie Willis uh, in the, her testimony just made me not like her. Uh, listening to her boyfriend, uh, whether he's current or past, uh, made me not like him. So now we have to realize that, and politics, and so much of this is about likability. Uh, so is any of this going to stand in the way of her prosecuting Trump? Let's go uh, a bunch of three card uh, draws. First of all, is Fonnie Willis going to be off of the Trump case? Three cards. One, two, three. Is she going to be taken off of this Trump case? Page of Pentacles. Interesting that this comes up because we're talking about Fonnie Willis. Is she going to be taken off the Trump case? And pentacles are value. The page of pentacles is the very least value that uh, this member of the royal court carries the very least value of, say, the king, the queen, the knight, and then you have the page. Page only comes to the court with a message. He's bringing a message of value here, very little value. So Fonnie Willis, as far as this investigation goes, I guess at this point, perhaps, is very little value. Next card up for what should we be taking off the case? King of Rods. Okay, King of Rods. This makes me think right away of Trump, but Rods are actions, plan, or wands, if you want to say, actions, plans, forward movement. And the King of Rods, whereas the page is the least effective of the Royal Court, the King of Rods has all the marbles in his hand. So there's a, there's a big uh, king of actions, plans, forward movement in charge of this. Maybe this is actually the case itself, to tell you the truth. There's so much there that it's going to barrel on forward. Uh, her uh, contribution is replaceable. Next one is the Queen of Cups, Queen of Emotion. Uh, I think she's going to carry with her enough emotion. Cups are hearts, heartfelt situations. Um, she's going to carry with her enough emotion 
to be a formidable queen opposed to this king. And while the queens always have to work harder to be equal to a king, they've done it over and over again throughout history. So is she going to be removed from the case? This tells me it's not particularly important whether she is or not because she's got comparatively little value considering the weight of the case against Trump. Uh, the case itself is a great big forceful plan that's going to keep trudging forward. And then her emotional value, her, her, her contribution to this is still significant. I don't think she's going to get thrown off the case, but if she does, it won't matter a lot. Now, is, is this prosecution of Fannie Willis or attempted prosecution of Fannie Willis going to significantly delay the uh, judgment uh, innocent or guilty uh, against Trump. Three cards. One, two, three. Is this going to significantly challenge Trump's victory? Okay, the four of pentacles. So this is hold, again, pentacles value. The four of pentacles is holding on to your value. Okay, so trying to keep everything in place, not lose any value. So this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to preserve the integrity of the case. In fact, by even having this question about Fonnie Willis. Next one up, Ace of Cups. This is a great big action uh, or heartfelt situation. Uh, cups are uh, compassionate and, and um, so there's too much here for this to matter. Uh, there's too much in the case against Trump for this side um, uh, jog uh, towards the efficacy of Fonnie Willis to matter. And the final one is secrets being revealed. Look at this moon card. It's amazing. So secrets being revealed. No, the secrets are going to keep coming out and that's what's going to be the determining factor and the jury's going to have to decide about that. Okay. It was interesting listening to her talk about her life and while she's had professional success, it doesn't sound like she's had much personal success. Uh, so let's see. The next thing I want to know is for Fonnie Willis and Donald Trump. Is he going to be convicted? One, two, three. And I've asked this several times. Uh, and uh, honestly, once I do these uh, recordings, I really don't remember what the results are, even that afternoon. So um, Ten of Cups, familial uh, value or emotion, um, as a matter of fact. So what is this? Is this Trump's familial value, his generational value? Um, the magician having everything in his um, in his bag uh, to make things uh, magically happen, and then the five of rods is actions, plans, forward movement, wands, uh, rods, and uh, the five of rods is pointless arguing. I don't know. I don't see that as an answer. Um, I think what it's trying to tell us is that there's so much there that uh, the uh, arguing about it, the sideshow of Fonnie Willis, isn't gonna make much difference. Is Trump gonna be convicted? Is Trump gonna be convicted? Will Trump be convicted change his supporters' uh, feelings for him? One, two, specifically, are they gonna like him less? And, and, and so that's what we'll say, will the situation Seven of Pentacles, have they done enough? Ace of Swords, a great big truth, justice, rules, and law. And the Two of Cups is uh, making a compassionate partner. I think what's going to happen here is um, he's going to get off, not get off uh, free, but this is going to temper the punishment he gets. That's what I think is happening. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. 
So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by US Game Systems. And I really love these cards and they've got an interesting story behind them too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, so they come in a, a typical, uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy, but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run-of-the-mill, uh, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here, and it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened, David Palladini was just finishing up um, art school when, I forget who it was, someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards. Um, and now David Palladini just recently died. This is 2000 and 21 in May, and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span, so uh, 17, 2017 or something. And then, so then these were done at the beginning of his career, which would have been, put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s, I would imagine. So you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit, and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or or sees a lot of tarot cards i do because i just like to collect them i think they're they're little pieces of art <clears throat> but uh, this fella uh, did these right out of art school and then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral become such an integral part of tarot and then later in his life he went ahead and um and did an updated uh, deck but these are the aquarian tarot by David Palladini, and uh, they're really great. I love them.